guys, eh? Welcome to a quick review of the Velocet Venom. The Venom was the post-war version of uh, Velocet's famous long-lasting line of sporting singles. It's a single cylinder overhead valve engine. So the valves are up here, push rod tunnels here. Single pipe, single cylinder, single carburetor. Uh, they came in two versions, both of which look mechanically very similar. There was the Venom, which is a 500cc, which this one is, 1958 this is. Uh, and there was a 350cc called the Viper. Uh, reasons so you have a smaller one and a bigger one is taxation classes really. Uh, the Viper is a very, very nice bike. It revs a bit harder than the Venom because it's a smaller piston, so it spins up and each class had their own devotees. Uh, this one's nice. It's got a twin leading shoe, full width front hub. Uh, instrumentation is very simple. You've got choke, it's auto advanced, so there's none of that. You've got the decompression lever for starting it and stopping it. Speedo, rev counter, light switch. That's pretty much it. Incredibly comfortable, very famous because of the fishtail silencer, which is obvious why they call it that. And from this side, it's one of the most beautiful bikes ever made. From the other side, however, in my opinion, not so much. Um, they always look a bit of a mess. And if you look in magazine articles, they rarely show you this side of the bike. So you've got a dynamo here. It's dynamo's at the front, it's driven by a belt. You've got the cover here for the clutch and chain. Clutches on Velos are notoriously fiddly to set up. They were known as engineers motorcycles and really you need to have a bit of mechanical knowledge if you're gonna try and run one. I really wouldn't recommend a Velo for a first time classic British bike. Um, it, they're, they're, just, they're just a bit too finickety. Um, but gorgeous, black enamel, classic motorcycle profile, what's not to like? They also have this wonderful thing here, which is the adjustable shock absorber mount. So if you have the shock absorber mount here, upright almost, then the bike gives a firmer ride. If you have it right the way down here, then the shock is laid down and you have a, a softer ride. Uh, just about everyone you'll ever see, they'll have it somewhere in the middle because that's just what they do. And uh, no one ever really mucks around with them. This is six volt dynamo magneto ignition. So it's tried and tested technology. And Velocet pretty much stuck with that to the bitter end. Uh, two things did for the company. One is this engine design and bike design was becoming very, very old fashioned by the 1960s. Uh, all the other manufacturers have produced twins or more three cylinder bikes uh, but Velo didn't have the money to um, move on from there. One of the reasons being that Velocet had foolishly invested pretty much all their capital into the Velocet LE which is a little noddy bike designed as a, a virtually a maintenance free commuter for non-motorcyclists um, and then latterly they produced a scooter called the Viceroy which was a little two-stroke twin scooter um, which busted the company. Both of those both of those machines required extensive tooling and nothing was compatible with the bike you're looking at now but what Velocet are remembered for now is not those failures they're really remembered for these fine bikes. Um, why shouldn't you own a Velo? As I say, I think you need to have a bit about you when it comes to maintenance. You need to keep on top of it, otherwise they'll start to get unreliable. They are more difficult to start. Uh, some people say Velos are impossible to start, notorious. This normally starts second kick. Um, they have a strange relationship between the gearbox and the clutch and the ratio as across the primary drive mean you have to get the piston in exactly the right spot. Um, my favourite bike of all time, available to see on another video of mine, is my Rudge Ulster. I will never sell that. Uh, but this would be the last bike I would sell if I was stopping riding. So if all the other bikes go, I would continue to ride this. And if I could no longer ride this, then I would be giving up riding. Um, it's really very comfortable. I can ride it all day. It does about 85. Uh, that's not what it's about now, really, with modern bikes. But it's a, just a lovely, lovely thing to ride around on. So I give you the Velocet Venom 500cc from 1958. And I like them so much, I've even got Velocet written on my crash of it. I hope you like it. <laughs>